I want to thank everybody for being here. I want to thank God, my team, for a few times over the last month that I'm putting down in the bottom of something, and they helped me to crawl out to see the see the light again. So thank you, guys. <laughs> and um, you know, I'm kind of a person that if I care for you, I've told you. You know, I'm not a person that has to stand up and tell people what I think about them. I would tell you as I meet you on the streets or in an email or in a text. I, I let people know that I care for them. And I let people know, I let people inside of my process. And so I, I try to look at the whole pavilion as trying to be as transparent with the process as possible. Uh, not, not creating a closed container, but creating something that was actually living as I was making it. And, and even when I was here and transforming it, I wanted people to have the transparency. I wanted people to see the struggle and the uncertainty. Because at the moment, I think that we all feel a little uncertain. But we have to kind of embrace that. I've been thinking a lot about activism and thinking a lot about the art world and the outside world. And really, I just think that I'm an artist. I'm, I'm an artist as a citizen. I don't know, maybe somewhere along the line, artists, some artists might have lost their citizenship, but I have never lost my citizenship. I belong in the world, and the ideas that we hold so dear to us belong in the world, or they belong in the museum, or wherever we choose to put them. So, I just want to thank everybody for being here, and grasping some of the emotional ideas that I'm talking about, and I hope that the ideas and the kind of transparency of this time that we're having here, this three or four days, has ripple effects and goes out. So it was important for me to stand in the front of the pavilion and to greet people, not what it means, not what power means to kind of hierarchy stand at the top, but to really meet people and connect with people, because for me it's all about people. The closer I can get to people, I don't feel alone. And right now it's very important that we don't feel alone. We use our voice to say that we're nervous. We use our voice to say that we're, we don't know where things are going. But that vulnerability can bring us together, which is a great thing. And so I just want to thank you and, and um, for being here and supporting this, and Alan for supporting me from the very beginning. When I was on, I had a bus pass and a dream, and I met Alan. <laughs> and, I, and he'd always tell me, I'd say, oh, I hope I sell a painting. And he said, no, when you sell a painting, so for me, tomorrow is another day means the possibility for another day. And the next day can be whatever you decide for it to be. We've all had bad days, but I always think, well, tomorrow's another day. I just get to another day, I just get to another day. So with me, tomorrow's another day means whatever you need for it to be, for, for tomorrow. Thank you.